Right, good evening. Well, it's uh, Monday evening. And more or less, I'm uh, done with some of my work in the office. I'll do a bit of painting tonight to just unwind a bit. So, just a follow up from last week. Uh, well, it's uh, what a good day to unwind on Monday evening and just do a bit of painting. Right, so uh, I can see I've uh, placed another additional camera. Right, see a bit of the colors I'm using right now. I'm going to paint the lower part of the, the great coat now. So continuing from the work done from the front. Right, I'm going to just do on the back now. You can see it's uh, pretty messy. So what I'm going to do now, it's uh, just going to start painting. We're going, we're going to start painting the back now. So just to start off a bit. So I'm going to use a bit of black here. Alright, uh, colors I'm going to use is probably black. Uh, the field grey. The field grey is mixed from black green, slate grey, and camouflage pale violet brown. So these a combination of these three colors will give me a sort of a field grey color. So uh, with the brown, a bit of brown, a bit of the grey from the slate grey, brown from the pale camouflage brown, and the green is coming from the black green. It's because a nice color to it, you know. Right. So, okay. Start a bit of uh, just test the color a bit. Well, it looks pretty well. Yeah, I think it's looks good. Yep. So you can see I'm uh, thinning the. So some of the people are asking how what sort of a uh, percentage of paint to water I'm using. I'm using uh, probably about. 30% water to 70% paint. So you can see this is the strokes here, right? So you just take a uh, take a focus down. You can see, right? So it's pretty thin. You can see it's uh, the whole color is just very thin. See, right? See. So, as you can see, it's, uh, that's why when I start to apply over the surface, you can't really see the colors appearing until the third layer. So, I'm, I work predominantly in uh, glazes, right? So, I work start off very soft and I slowly build the opacity up, you know? I, I mean, I, I, I like this control, right? This is the way I work, okay? I also know there's uh, something about the way I work is that I always, you know, lift my brushes up you know, to get a soft effect. So, so the technique itself is not complicated. It's pretty easy to master, right? Slightly, and you can see that as I start to paint, you notice the strokes getting shorter and shorter. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm doing now. See, I'm getting getting shorter strokes now. So I, I try not to you know pull the whole line through. As, I, as if I pull the first line, it's a long line, and then the second line will be slightly shorter. And this is the way I sort of build the 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 layers. And the same time, the saturation of the colors, you know. So you can see such things, such to you know. And this is the probably this is the next stroke here. I'm going to just apply the next layer here, very gently, right? Learn the colors there. So, if I want to change, I want to get some bit of a shadows here. I use a bit of slate gray. Slate gray is good. It's very thin, so too thin to my for my liking. 
So I'm gonna do some, just add a bit more, just to just form the. I guess any brand of slate grey will do. I mean, I just lend my hands. I just basically laid my hands on the uh, one from Andrea, so I'm using the one from Andrea. Uh, this is German camouflage uh, black brown. I'm using now. So let's see if I have it around here. Right. Yep. This is the color here. Right. It's a nice, pretty nice color. So this is the one over here. I'm just quite cutting like a tone in between that. Yeah. So just just painting it in. So I'm applying like you know I'm just painting in the wash I'm painting in the shadows now. Right. Again the dilution the it's highly diluted, right? So it's a what applying a like watercolors, right? Sense is it? You can see from my thumbnail, you can see it's actually very light. Okay. So you can see from my thumbnail here, you can see that the, the color is actually pretty light. So it's just a matter of layering, that's all. Right. No, there's no way. Yeah, no need to rush. This is uh, enjoy the pro. Just enjoy the whole entire process, and you can. S if you rush, well, you you're gonna you're gonna make more mistakes. So the key is to you know. Kick back, play a bit of jazz in the background. Paint. Oh. Right. So incidentally, this is actually a liner brush I'm using. It's actually from Ashley. I mean, this is the local brand. Okay. So I mean, it's ten zero. This it's pretty worn. It's pretty worn out already. So you can see that. I mean, but uh, I'm, I'm using it for just for general painting right now. In this case, it works pretty well, right? State grey, a bit of black, uh, a bit of camouflage brown here. Just so, so want to work in a bit more of the, the shadows now. See that? Just placing it in there. So you notice that uh, because I've unloaded the colors, or rather the paint, I don't, I don't get watermarks or you know deposits. You just lay it, lay it on, you know, just like that, right? Uh, as long as you keep it thin, as you can show you, as long as you keep it thin, right? You can, you can uh, it's very, you can see that uh, it doesn't. It's a, it's a very forgiving method of uh, applying paint. You know, you just have to control the colors. You know? That's it. You just keep it light. You know, you don't overload it. You know? The moment you overload it, how do you know if you overload it? You can see there are a lot of droplets, right? You can see this is what happens. Okay, you don't want that. You know, that's what you don't want. Okay, so the last thing that we want is to have you know overload. And when you overload on the surface, you can see it starts to get starts to get running. Yeah, I mean, it gets it runs all over the place. Eh? Like oh, you can see it's very difficult, and and that's where you start to 
to, 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 to sort of, you know, oh, try to spread it around out a bit and, and it gets wet the leaves watermarks so the way to do it, so if you have a situation like this, just immediately take another brush and like, you know, try to try to drain away the water, you know alright I find that the easiest way is sometimes is to just stipple a bit and let the water sort of like scatter and evaporate so you can see it is uh, from this this brush I'm using, right? You can see it's starting. To it's already lost its point, to be honest. I, I like it because it's. Uh, I'm using it because uh, it's good because it's almost like a flat brush, right? And I can use it. Use it back there. So I'm, gonna I'm just applying where the highlights. In the highlight areas. So it's, uh, so the large areas here, not a worry. Taking the base color here again. Okay, I'm just unloading it, making sure. You can see I'm always testing on the black paper to see how it uh, the flow is like. And then, then uh, with some with the great degree of confidence, I can just apply it onto the uh, the surface, right? Okay. So if you have any if I need additional highlights, I'm going to use a bit of a particular color here. It's. Uh, it's like a light grey, it's like a gal grey, I would say. Oh, yeah, this nice colour here. It's, uh, it's, um, it's from Andrea, it's called Pearl Grey. Right, again, <laughs> from an old stock. Unclog this. Okay, so bring it in there. So you can see so it's pretty watery here. So let's take a bit here and just now if I want I think it's cool, it's a very cool colour. Right. So there, I test it out a bit. And you can see how it works out on the surface here. It's, it's alright. So you can see the early on when it's that layer starts to dry. Okay, I'm going to just take a bit. Right, and just wash it over. See? So you can see a bit of the highlights coming up here already. Right. So I'm, I'm see what I started off with this boundary here. I'm reducing the area now. Uh, my paint application you can see is quite red. I'm, I'm, ju I'm, I'm just like dabbing it on because it's the great coat. So I'm hoping we can just use a bit of the. So I try to suggest a bit of texture. The great coat, right? So I can see if I can reduce the take a bit of the I'm gonna better a bit just put a pale pale camouflage brown here. Just adding it more so you see it doesn't doesn't have a sort of chalky effect. So I'm gonna just you know just spread out a bit. And you just gently just dab. Effect here I'm doing. <coughs> <coughs> I 
<coughs> Sorry. It's a bit dry. Adding a bit more paint. Right, so you can see I'm increasing the opacity of the paint. You can see the layers building up. See that? Maybe some parts of it. Immediate one in the center here. It's a bit too stark. Yep, so it's gonna go in with the base color now. Brown now, so just to you know, give it a bit of just a bit of just a bit of a wet, wetted look. Yeah, you can see the paint is a bit thick. I'm really losing the uh, the the seam. There, I'm gonna paint it in later. I just use the trumpet technique of you know lining a dark line across the seam, and then to another lighter line below. Seizing it right now. Oh, I'm taking the brush, new brush. No, the sorry, not the new brush. New set of new set of paint, and uh, you know, now I can see I'm, I'm dabbing it. Right, so you can see it's a uh, how I can see the paint diffusing. Of the very nice line. Yeah. See that? Okay. Therapeutic, if you ask me. Yeah, kind of oh, okay. Right. The spot here bit like this. Just like you can see I'm just like brushing over you know a bit like a dry brush, yeah, you can see it. Yes. Again, I'm just like dabbing the color on. Okay. So you can see how you get a sort of very soft effect over a large area here, especially a smooth area like this. Okay. No, no scrubbing really. Right. Just dabbing, right? The color on. So it's just very light. Okay. You don't you see this is wet, right? You really want the color to diffuse. You don't drag the colors, you don't drag the paint, you just like, you know, just dab it just a little like this, you know, you just lift it up. Or just like patting, you know.
moment to can accentuate some of the, the schemes now. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just cheat a bit. Mm. We're gonna use a bit of the retarder medium. Pretty tall medium, but this is a retarder fluid. Okay. From uh, this is from Amsterdam, it's considered to a smaller container. Um, so, I'm just gonna mix a bit of this brown and uh, black together because this is this is flat black, right? Um, it's uh, basically by a whole, all right? Uh, 950 black, okay? okay? Right, so I just want to add a bit more because it's pretty thin, so I'm just going to just as I said, I just added a bit of the retarder, the retarder liquid. Right, I'm going to just going to paint in the uh, the seams, huh? Right, so you can see from here. Turning, you can see I'm just pulling the straight line there like this. 